Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Fletch from Forest Prusen Creative, and we're looking at Caro. Uh, this is a prototype, non-finished version, obviously, Correct. of the game, coming from Hurricane. And I hope you could give an overview of the, the sure. what we're doing here, what the setting is. So this is a two-player game. Uh, it's set in a post-apocalyptic world where everyone's uh, ability to survive and thrive is based on the amount of kerosene they have Okay. left in their, their supply. Okay, and uh, again, this is prototype material. It's prototype not how it's material. going to look at the end. Uh, everybody's got uh, about uh, 90 seconds of time that they'll be able to work with uh, over the course of the game. And the entire game? The, well, you get to okay. Turn, okay. put, we'll, put we'll the, uh, the, the sand timer down from time to time, but you can see it, it, doesn't, it doesn't stand up this way. It only stands up this way, so okay. you'll <laughs> always be working Okay. Down your time. Okay. Uh, on your turn, you'll start the the time going. You'll roll dice. Uh, it works a little bit like Yahtzee. You can keep rolling as many times as you want, unless you come up with fire. And when you have a combination that you want, you'll put that down, and you'll use the results of your die uh, to purchase uh, buildings and supplies uh, that can be added to your collection. Uh, these will all be worth points at the end of the game. Okay. Uh, you have some special action cards that can be either worth extra points in the game or give you extra utilities to use. Uh, and there's a constant fight over territories. So some of the buildings will allow you to place soldiers. You can see this one allows you to place one soldier. This one would allow you to place two soldiers. Uh, and you'll take your soldiers and distribute them the way you'd like. Um, over time, as, as buildings are, are purchased and burned down and, and uh, the deck is gone through, you'll eventually find these battle cards. And when the battles come up, there are uh, three of them over the course of the game. The territories will be handed out to players based on whoever has the most. So the purple player in this case would take this ter territory, the red player gets this one, purple gets this one. This one would go away and four new territories would come out. So uh, over the course of the game, you're uh, trying to accumulate points either by assembling a row of buildings and settlements that are worth a lot of points, or free points from the uh, cargo deck, or points accumulated from territories. Okay. And there's interactions between these. Some of the territories will reward you more points for different sets of buildings and, and settlements. Okay. Uh, what is going to change with the finished production of the game? Uh, well, there's going to be richer art. I believe uh, Piero is the artist working on this. Okay. Uh, he also did the artwork for Mr. Jack. Right. Um, Ghost we're gonna stories. See, as a, yes. Like, yeah. uh, we're going to see uh, richer detail in the uh, kerosene trucks. The trucks will have black sand with a little bit of red in there so that it has a, a richer uh, uh, tone to it. looks a little bit more like kerosene. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I like this too. Is it's a, a one-way journey. It is. And it is. Here. If you run out of sand, uh, your turn is is done. You'll have to spend another turn trying to buy back sand, uh, and that all lies in your opponent's hands. They'll take all of the dice, including special dice, uh, and and keep on rolling them until they come up with all fire. At which point, you're done, and your next turn you have to proceed as normal. Okay. All right. Thanks very much for the overview of Caro. Thank you.